First, I'd like to begin by thanking the Erie, Shawnee, and Wyandotte Indians whose ancestral lands we are conferring on this week. Next, my deepest gratitude goes to Janine, Joe, Joy, Victor, and Laura for sharing their stories and embodied knowledges with us today. Each of these brilliant scholar, teacher, activists practice the very values that this award honors Gail and Cindy for. Although each received the award as a mentee, they are mentoring our scholarly community by generously sharing their work and humanity. And like Cindy and Gail, all together, they remind us to work from our most ethical selves about the ongoing inequities in technological, institutional, and pedagogical access. And that we do not only learn from one another and disciplinary work, but from our students, families, both chosen and by birth, communities, and other workplaces and spaces. Let us honor this co-mentoring work this evening by considering how Janine, Joe, Joy, Victor, and Laura extend Gail and Cindy's foundational work in important ways. I begin by sharing what I learned by bearing witness to these testimonies. Y'all have, co have collaboratively created a space of wonder for the computers and writing community to explain I wonder to what extent our community employs naming to otherize, fetishize, honor, and or em empower. Who, what, and how do we name and toward what ends? I wonder how we might tease out the tensions related to the optics of diversity between visibility, hypervisibility, and overexposure. Toward what ends are we diversifying our community and why? I wonder how might our community continue diversifying without tokenizing and minoritizing? I wonder how our community might extend our conversations about the rhetorics of diversity, underrepresentation, no representation, underserved, marginalized, unenfranchised, and disenfranchised. And to think about these not only in relationship to our community, but our scholarship and citation practices. Now that we have at least five generations of computers and writing scholars, I wonder to what extent our family tree has evenly supported diversity and equity initiatives. And I wonder to what extent we might recognize those who have cleared a path for and have helped to sustain social justice work. I know, for example, that I would likely not be a part of this community, nor would I have pursued a PhD had it not been for the mentoring and encouragement of Chris Blair. I wonder who has welcomed you into this community and who have you welcomed into this community? Have you invited scholars of color? international, multilingual, queer, trans, and disabled scholars into your intellectual family? Related, whose sessions do you attend? When are the presentations of minority scholars scheduled and against which other, against which other sessions? Finally, for the sake of time, I wonder how the Four C's Committee on Computers and Composition and Communication, or what we call the, four, the seven C's, sorry, might help conference organizers consider how to address issues of diversity, equity, inclusion, and engagement. For example, how might organizers think about scheduling the presentations of our award winners and other minority scholars in ways that encourage attendance from the wider community as Elkie has done for us today? These stories underscore the importance of witnessing and testifying the real embodied experiences of marginalized and oppressed people surviving societal and structural inequalities, not to mention the extraordinary obstacles encountered and labor invested in order to survive, not just in institutions like academia that at best were not designed with us in mind, or at worst were built purposely to keep us out but also situated in a nation that values, expects, and rewards compliance, assimilation, and deference to colonialism and capitalism. Thus, I invite you tonight, dear computers and writing family, to share your learning moments this evening. How have you witnessed these testimonies in ways that respect and support multiplicity and difference?
What have you learned from these stories and how might you be an agent for positive change in our community and discipline? Bye, though.